Hello everyone on the internet, it is John and I am once again back here in my kitchen to taste the second to last of the premium 7-Eleven ramen bowls from Japan, the 7-Eye Premium Series. And this is the first of the two that are Michelin star rated. This is from Naki Ryu, or Naki Ryu. I'm going to peel off the top here. There's what it looks like. Naki Ryu, it's from Osaka, Japan. That is the restaurant that is Michelin star rated in Japan um, that you can get ramen at. And this is one of the first ones that I've seen that actually have something written on the backside. Not sure if this is the instructions or maybe some history of the restaurant. But anyway, the uh, noodles have been in the boiling water for a while along with some little pieces of meat and some green onion. And I'm about to add the two other seasonings. We have a orange pack or it's called a red pack and this says this is the special sesame oil and the green pack is the soup base and I had right here yeah. this is where the the meat and the vegetables were in so let me add these two right quick so I had the noodles steeping in here for three minutes That was a very bright orange color. Well, this is like a clear color, but it also has like a paste. It looks like a sesame seed paste. give it a good stir. Yeah, that's sesame seed paste for sure. Sesame oil with some sesame seed paste. Stir that up. I gotta say out of all of them, this looks the least special. But as ramen goes, you can't really tell by just the look. All right, now let's get a close-up view. All right, as you can see here, it doesn't look too extremely special. You got your beef chunks in there. You got your green onion pieces around there. The broth is kind of a orangey. It's not quite as cloudy as some of the tonkatsus, but you definitely can't see through it. All right, let's get to tasting it. Okay, now let's taste it. Here we go. Oop. Slid right off. Now, this is a Tauntaun Men style. And Tantan Men is supposed to be a, like a, a Sichuan with a slight sp spiciness to it, with uh, varying degrees of spice. Um, I know at the ramen shop this is at, you can get it in extra spicy mala. It also comes in a sour variety, which is, uh, it looks like it's pronounced Sulu, but never be too sure about that. Get another bite of this. You definitely taste a little bit of sourness to it and some spice to it. The spice is not overpoweringly spicy. This is really interesting because I don't know if I've had Tan Tan Men before, but I don't recognize this flavor, like, you get the sesame, 
paste and the sesame oil flavor. There's like this Szechuan spice. And have you ever had Szechuan spice? It has like a slight of a slight bit of like a numbingness to it. And I don't know where the sourness is coming from. Probably should have looked that up before. Um, especially after I saw that it came in a, a sour variety. I'm guessing like the sour variety just has extra amount of that ingredient. The spicy variety has more of the Szechuan peppers in it. The beef is nice and tender in here. Really absorbed the broth and water very well. I'm gonna get a good slurp of this broth. That broth, <clears throat> intensely flavorful. And again, it's so different than a lot of the broths that I've had before, a lot of the ramens that I've had before. It's just, it's a, this is a new flavor for me. You get that nuttiness from the sesame, spiciness, sourness, beefiness, all in this super rich broth. And again, you gotta say, if this is the instant variety, you gotta think that the actual place is just amazing. From what I've looked up, I don't think they've expanded outside of Japan. I'm not even sure if they've expanded outside the one and only restaurant that I found. Again, maybe I should have done a little bit more research on that, but... A lot of what I've Googled was in Japanese, so it's it's hard for me to, to figure out what all that means. I'm just here to tell you how it tastes, and this is good. Oh man, I'm definitely going to finish this bowl here and enjoy every last bite of it. But this one... In my mind, it must have deserved that uh, Michelin star. You see right here, the emblem for Michelin. They've earned the Michelin star. And my next video in this series will have the last bowl in the series and the second Michelin star rated one. And if it's good, as good as this, then I would say that one deserved the Michelin star as well. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.